What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Valley with the ticker symbol VALE. This was a viewer's request and thank you for your donation. I will first be going over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Please trade at your own risk. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at the daily chart. Well, you can see that it's at the lows of this entire downtrend that began basically since um, July, June, July of 2021. It was trading right around the $23 level, and you see that it had these volatile uh, big swings up and down, but now it's still continuing to drop lower and lower. So let's focus more on the near term. Uh, you can see that you know as long as prices still blow this trend line, it's going to be bearish because this can be this shows that the momentum to the downside is pretty strong. And you could even uh, get rid of that and put a channel instead to show where price can reach the opposite side. So we have this uh, resistance right there, and you can see that you know we could put a uh, parallel trend line on the bottom, that's where price can also uh, reach the lower side of this uh, channel. So either way, it's looking bearish. You know, it looks like price is breaking support levels. You can see this was prior support right here at the uh, 11.75. So let me show you guys that right now. You see that price was trending down to the level. It got a bounce uh, because it was support. Price went up. It was too weak to reverse the entire drop and it continued to trend down lower, it broke through that level, and you can see that the bulls, they tried to get back above it, but failed. And then price just uh, rolled over. And basically the momentum is strong in overriding that bullish momentum. So the bearish momentum is overriding the bullish momentum. So it looks pretty bearish. Now, again, I'm not gonna just say random targets. You, you have to use technical things. So technically, this would be a measure move target right here. This one leg down, second leg down. The next target I can see is 953. That would be the next uh, target for the bears and uh, they might be even a larger one you can see that if we zoom out further uh, we can take maybe a look at the weekly chart for a larger target but either way it's looking like uh, we're gonna see more downside it doesn't look bullish at all you can see that price was kind of like in a equal low formation kind of like this type of triangle pattern but making lower highs and you see that finally price just gave up and broke down lower it looks like the bears are stronger than the bulls and uh, it's headed lower I'm looking for 9 sub 10 entering the single digits. And if price doesn't reverse anytime soon, it might reach the 2020 lows. Because, I mean, if, if it was, if price reached here in 2020, it can definitely reach there again, especially if it hasn't gone that far up. And especially if we're not that far away from it. So let's go and mark that. That's right, right around the 696, $7 level. So again, um, we might get there. As right now, I, I wouldn't be looking for bullish targets. Now again, you have to look at both sides of the story. Uh, that's the bearish side is we're gonna continue trending trend down lower in this downward uh, channel, downward trend, reach the measurement target and continue trending trend down lower, possibly even to the seven. Now what's the bullish case? Well, we are at support from prior levels in October, 2020. Uh, but what you wanna see is a sustainable uptrend. You know, if you see a bounce, I mean, price still has to get back above the $11.60 level because that was prior resistance. And then, you know, it has to continue to prove itself. So until then, you know, until it starts making a nice strong uptrend like this, as long, um, and it can still continue to trend down lower. So you want to see price get at least back above the $12 level, maintain support, and then rally uh, for me to be like, okay, maybe the trend has um, reversed. If not, then, you know, any rally is going to be short term, and I'll be still expecting more downside uh, to follow. Looking at the weekly chart, uh, what can you see? You can see that there's still a lot of room to the downside. You know, it looks like uh, price is trying to come back to these 2020 lows. Uh, we can look at, you know, you can see that price is making significant lower highs. Um, price is still getting rejected from there. You can even draw a parallel line for this. I mean, price is not going to go, I don't think it's going to reach the $3 level, but you never know. But either way, you can see that it's making significant lower highs. Uh, the bulls are just not strong enough to make a, a new higher high, a new high. And it looks like price is going to be tr continuing to trend down lower. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of a range bound stock, you know, sometimes... You know, some years, several years you hold it, some several years you don't, you know, unless you're a bear. So you see that, you know, it's kind of cyclical. It's not like a, a, the SPY, which continues to go up, you know, with these um, type of pattern in the very long term, like a nice strong trend. You know, this is kind of like a, a um, range bound stock. So right now it's, it kind of topped out. I think you can even see where the top was gonna be because why? You see that there was a measure move target. It's all one leg right here and price corrected in 2020, second leg, Almost perfect measure move target. Well, actually, we exceeded it. Uh, target was 2079. Price reached around the low 20s, 2286. And then price started selling off. So, again, now we can look for maybe another large leg down. 
is all one leg right here. You move this over, second leg is it pretty much coinciding with that little uh, measure move target right here at the nine, you know, low to mid nines. So we might not get all the way down to the, you know, high sixes, low sevens, but it's, it's a possibility if we break the uh, low uh, to mid nines. So as of right now, I'm looking for more uh, downside because that's what the chart is telling me. It looks like the bears are stronger than the bulls. There is uh, room to the downside. There's targets to the downside. And we'll go from there. So that's all I have for Valley on the daily and weekly charts. This is a V Trace, and thank you for your time.